it's time to start. Hello, Liana. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, very well, teacher. Having dinner now. Oh, enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. We will talk later. Thank you. I'm back in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Beatriz, good evening. No teacher. I yes, can madame. do both things. It's my special thing. Okay. <laughs> when I'm eating, I talk a lot. So it's okay. I can do oh, both. Really? Yeah. So how's everything? How was your day? Uh, uh, a slow day, teacher. It was a, a slow day today. Same routine, you know. Really? Yeah, yeah. So you stayed at the office the whole day? Yeah, just at, at lunch, I came to my home to, to have a, well, lunch with my mom. And then I came back to the office. And maybe that, that was the only thing that changed today. Well, that's good. You had a chance to enjoy with your mama. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually yeah. great. Yeah, and what about you? Me, let me see today. Oh, a long day at work. And I was supposed to have a, a, an exam today at the university, but you know, they it was postponed due to the fact that our teacher got sick. Okay. So it's gonna be on Saturday, which is bad. Because, uh, well, first off, I had everything prepared. Second thing was that my son's got a fight on Saturday and I will not be able to attend to, you know, to support him because I got to be here all day, all morning. So that's the way it goes. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You have to move. Or all your activities because yeah. of this. Yeah, and tomorrow I got a meeting and I need to prepare a plan and I need to prepare another homework that's for tomorrow's meeting. And I need to prepare a project this week for a 
for a city hall and because uh, we are sending some people to work to the United States, uh, but I need to prepare the, the, the project, how the classes are going to be, because the previous teacher left with the group. So I got a lot of work. I mean, I got a lot on my plate for this week. Oh, it's gonna okay. be fun. Yeah, <laughs> I like that, that expression. What? It's gonna be a fun. Lot of my plate. When when yeah, you when you when you have to to add a lot of things to do. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I mean, it's gonna be crazy. But, but that's the way we like it. What can we do? Yeah, always busy. Yeah, yeah, it's better, better. You know, a busy mind is a healthy mind. Otherwise, when I'm not busy, I start thinking about things. About yeah. Ideas. I agree with that. So it's better if I keep busy. So, but tonight, let's see. As soon as I finish the class and upload the video, I go to sleep early. I'm planning on going to sleep around 11.30, midnight. Oh yeah, that's pretty early for you. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is actually. Last night I went to sleep around one. And you went to the gym today? No, because uh, the thing is this, uh, yesterday I had to take some tests and and my 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 hand, my it's swollen all right here. Oh my and God. My, uh, one of my arms is the same, so it hurts a little bit. It's kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, you need to rest the hand and your shoulder. Yeah, it's kind of uncomfortable. Even for, for riding on the motorcycle was kind of uncomfortable, so... I can imagine. Oh, and tomorrow I need to go to the doctor. And you are taking pills or some, some kind of medicine mm. for that? No, no. The thing is that, uh, no, it's just, the problem is this. My veins are so thin that uh, they are hard to find. When they find it, that happens to me that usually they break them. That's why I got the, the swollen part. Yeah. So, I mean, it just takes time for it to go away. Okay, hope you feel better. Thank you, Diana. Welcome. Nice talking to you. And enjoy. A pleasure. Thank you. Anna Claudia, hello. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm here enjoying your conversation with Ileana. My gosh, you are so busy. But at the same time, you love it. I don't know what time you go to the gym. I mean... <laughs> Well, Which? my my schedule is a little bit tight. Like, uh, let's see, that project got approved. The one that I'm going to prepare this week, I'm gonna start working perhaps in one or two weeks. I'm gonna be like finishing one job at four fifteen, and starting the other one at five from five to six, six fifteen. Planning to be at the gym from six fifteen to seven fifteen. Then come home, take a shower, and check everything, have this class. It's like that. <laughs> oh my God. And that new project, is, it will be classes uh, through Zoom platform or? No, 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 face to face. Oh, really? Do you have, would you have time to move from one place to another? I mean. Oh, yeah, it's quite close. It's quite close. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it takes me just like 10 minutes to get from there to here. With no traffic or? Oh, there's no traffic at all. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, awesome. That's good for you. More yeah, income. No <laughs> and from okay. the gym to my house is like five minutes. Ah, okay. So you go walking, right? I guess you walk. Um, well, the thing is this, uh, some of the areas that I need to cross are kind of uh, not that good. And for me, that's not a problem. I mean, I've been living here for so long that almost everybody knows me, but I take my son and I take my my nephew. So I oh, so I rather I, take the car. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Yes, because they're young. So Yeah, right now they are just arriving from the thing. My son was driving. Oh, okay. Okay, good. But the only bad thing is that he doesn't like parking inside the house. 
The thing is that in the garage, I get the two cars and I get the motorcycle, but the three things and the space is, I mean, you gotta get quite straight and he doesn't like parking it in. Oh, uh, so I guess after the class, you try to make all the... <laughs> yeah, I need to do all well, the The videos downloading, stuff like that, so I take advantage of it. Now, when the video is uploading, I'm having dinner. Oh, okay. So and, your, dinner, your dinner is late. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Around 10 30. Mm, okay. You have dinner late. That that was I'm always fighting with the bird to use when you are eating is have you have dinner. Yeah, you okay. have dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, good for you. And well, in my case, you? my day was a regular day today, but uh today I feel like I'm uh, recovering my face, <laughs> faith, faith, <laughs> I'm sorry, in sales, okay. because I told you. It was good uh, for business. Yeah, it was good for business. The customers are going to pay tomorrow, but they are convinced and they agree to wait for the product. And, and that's important for me because once you inform the customer and the communication is clear, uh, it's good because you avoid the cancellations and stuff like that. So they are they agree to to wait for the product, uh, even though that means they can be uh, they can get a uh, oh yeah ticket would be the word yeah. Pero para decir multa. Mm, and that's a ticket. Word. Okay, well, so yeah, depending on the uh, officer. Oh well, or, you can also say a penalty. Yeah. The, a penalty, exactly. Yes, because it's a violation not uh, carrying all those equipments. And if you cross states, so uh, you are interstate, uh, so they can give you a ticket. And that's a violation, but also uh, discount points for the records and put them on a bad position. So it's a all system. So it's very important for the research to explain the customers they will wait they will need to wait and if they agree it's okay um and, and that's good because that's allowed me to place their orders stuff like that i was thinking that maybe i won't be able to make it to achieve my goal this month but now i'm starting to believe that it's possible i will do i will overcome <laughs> so that's good. That's happening. But I, what I'm doing right now, I'm offering more. We have to offer, like, uh, for like a requirement for not to have a penalty on my paycheck in my commissions. I have to make three meetings, three demonstrations, three demos with uh, three customers, yeah. different yeah. customers, uh, and that helps a lot because most of the customers they are drivers but because they could have the money they made the investment create the company and all that procedure paperwork etc but that doesn't mean that uh, they become like an admin they don't know nothing when you teach them and when you show them all the uh, information they can get uh, and that allowed them to be on top of their business. That is uh, that makes them to to say yes. And, and what I'm doing right now, even though it takes a long time and, and it's uh, uh, more effort in, on my end, uh, I'm doing more demos because people need to understand and they need to know how this service it's um, improving their business and making them to save money at the end because they uh, are on track of the fuel utilization, multiple things. So today uh, I feel like it's a day of hope <laughs> because oh, that's mm -hmm. cool. I'm cool. feeling the things are, are, are working again in, in the same. I told you that the calls, the incoming calls or the in possibilities to make business in all the company decreased like around 45 percent it's incredible yeah, that's that's a big yeah. hit wow yes but we are 
doing our best. And I think yeah. I, I will overcome, I will do it. Yeah, yeah. well, plenty of companies uh, are facing that situation nowadays, yeah. you know? Exactly. It's, it's pretty hard, it's pretty hard. Yeah, but I think China is doing all of this because they are the mayor, uh, they have all these, uh, uh, Factories. Factories. Thank you. <laughs> they have all these factories. And, and what happens right now is uh, they close some factories or they um, decrease the production. number of people allowed to have to be working. So the production will be less than two or one month ago and, and that is the way how they are showing the power to the world i think because at least products like chips arrive to us like in two in three weeks but for europe they are taking like around one or two months it's hard so there are uh, some factories so electrical cars in europe that they are uh, shut down right now yeah and besides that i mean transportation of stuff from ports in the United States is complex because they are having a, a lack of drivers, certified lack of drivers. drivers. That's right, that's right. That's a big problem they are facing mm -hmm. because due to the pandemic, a lot of drivers went into other areas. Mm -hmm. And now that it, things went back to normal, they are not going back to driving. Exactly. And so they are, companies are trying to certify new drivers, but not a lot it of people is interested. Exactly. Yeah. It's not interesting because it, it's a hard work. Uh, yeah, and it is. It is. And they are not getting paid as good as other areas or other industries are offering. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, well, the thing is that they got, uh, I mean, some companies, that's what they are offering. They're trying to raise the, the payment, but still, mm -hmm. you know, people is is getting into that exactly. and that's a big problem you know even for gas, mm -hmm. gas i was companies. about to mention that and summarize the the fuel price my god yeah it will increase due to the same fact i mean there's fuel but there's not people who are willing to transport it exactly and yeah i got an uncle in the states he's got a small company he's got a, a couple of trucks trolleys mm -hmm. and he's making money but it depends because some people they work in a transportation business but they use vans or they are using pickups but it, it depends what type of there are a lot of segments. No, he's got the big 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 oh, trucks that's great that's great so he, and he works directly maybe. to with the ports yeah nice. mm -hmm. i mean in his case, his business is good right now mm -hmm, exactly. because they are paying good. But the problem is that some of the companies are having problems because the the products are not arriving. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. In and our case, this, as I told you, we need to say the customer, you need to wait like around two weeks or two weeks and a half. Yeah, and on top of that, you need to face regulations in the states. Remember oh. that in the states, if you are a driver, a certified driver. I mean, it's mandatory for you just to drive certain amount of hours per day. Exactly. That is what our system does. It show them and reflect them and show them if they surpass that amount of hours that they are in violations. But that also affects the company because as a drivers, they have a profile. But the company, the one they work for is the points or the records decreasing itself. So, Whole thing. Mm -hmm. And the ticket, of course. Yeah, it's, I mean, that's quite an interesting topic, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just remember, Anna Claudia, profit. Profit. Profit, profit is uh, incomes. No, profits. Ganancia. Yeah, profit. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, Benefits, they are not profit. getting, exactly. Okay, they are not getting, so the drivers are not getting profits. Can I say that? They are not getting, yeah, they are not getting extra, extra profits, extra mm. gains. 
Okay, okay. It means that they are not getting, they are not earning more. No, they are not earning more. They feel they are losing money. Yeah, it's complex, quite complex. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for the work. Nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, who else around? I could have song. Hey, hey, Francisco, how are you? Just fine, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. What about you? How's everything? Uh, everything is good, teacher. Uh, today is, uh, is uh, was a uh, a uh, busy day in the in my in my job. My okay. band ready t-shirt. Sure. Uh, this day uh, is it was uh, a little bit uh, busy uh, because uh, usually uh, Tuesday and Wednesdays uh, are uh, Days with more, uh, with more flow uh, that uh, trucks or, or how do you say community teacher trucks right trucks trucks trucks. Uh, those days I are the the most uh, activity here in the in the Comstone. Oh really? So it was a heavy day for you. A little bit, sure. A little bit. But in this moment, uh, it's uh, a little quiet. <laughs> it's rather. Oh yeah, you're still working, right? Right, teacher. Today. Ouch. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Well. So sorry. Well, but uh, actually, this shift is kind of good for you, right? Right, teacher. Right. Uh, you can sleep late. Uh, you don't arrive that late. Home. What time are you arriving? Around 11, 11 30. Uh, to home? Uh, 11, teacher. Around 11. Okay, that's that's fine. Uh, in the in this. Uh, a street uh, from uh, La Chadura to Acajutla uh, is not traffic. Uh, yeah, of course, there's no traffic at all. So that's the, nice. Uh, right, teacher. Uh, only at noon in uh, Carasucha, uh, sometimes uh, the traffic is, is heavy, usually at noon. Really? Right. For example, uh, when I uh, come to my my work uh, for uh, the afternoon shift, uh, the bus uh, it's passed through Carasucia uh, around uh, one one o'clock. In this, in this uh, hour, the traffic is, is very heavy. The problem is that uh, uh, there are many, many, how do you say commercial it's, it's business. business? Business. Okay, it's, it's a, a many uh, informal, informal business. And then the, yeah. to, uh, there are uh, many uh, formal business too, but the the, the most um, the most quantity is informal business. Okay, the the bigger amount. The bigger amount. The bigger amount. Oh, okay, sure. The bigger okay, amount. Well, Francisco, welcome. Nice Thank having you, you here in class. Hey guys, let me get the attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Present teacher. 
Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancilla. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you, Ada. Eh, Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Here, mister. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay, guys. Well, well, well. Today we are going to have a little bit of a conversation. Then we are going to go to a PowerPoint that I have prepared for you with the a little bit of grammar explanation. Then we go to the manual just to uh, to do a little exercise and then we got more conversation. No, before that part of the conversation, we will have the presentation. Let's see, for today is Maria Alejandra. That's Maria Alejandra. You ready, Maria Alejandra? Mm, I think, but I don't know. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, I'm sure you are ready. I'm sure you are ready. Okay. So, Maria Alejandra, how are you? How was your day? Um, uh, I have a a good day. Uh, in the morning, I um, don't have a lot of cases, but in the afternoon, didn't have, I didn't have a lot of cases. In the afternoon, I have more, but Oh, oh, uh, uh, in control, or uh -huh. I don't need to stay more time uh, to pass my schedule or that finish my hours. Oh, well, that's nice. I mean, you didn't have to do extra. Yes, because I have a homework because I need to prepare my presentation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yes, sure, yes, sure. And I broke my head to thinking when I talk, and I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to be good. Thank you, Maria Alejandra, and welcome. You're welcome, teacher. Let's see. Hey, Ramon, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, mister. How's everything? Um, actually, I'm fine. I'm just waiting for my girlfriend uh, from her job. Oh, really? You passed by picking her up? Uh, yeah, yeah. And then we, we go to their home and take uh, some dinner. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I will cooking. <laughs> oh, really? You will cook? Okay, what will okay. you prepare tonight? Uh, I think uh, something um, about chicken. I don't know. <laughs> okay. That's cool. That's cool. Well, I hope you enjoy your dinner and your time with your girlfriend. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Juan Carlos, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, 
so so i could say <laughs> and you i'm just fine just fine so how was the day uh, i don't know <laughs> uh, i i passed to many things today but uh, now i'm feeling better than before mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. What time did you finish working today? Oh, I, I requested be a uh, uh, leave of absence on my job, so I leave my uh, activities at two p.m. So today was in that um, sense, like um, good. <laughs> Okay, well, mm -hmm. the good thing is that you're here in class. Yes, <laughs> I'm sorry because yesterday I, I couldn't join to the meeting, but <laughs> that was an like exception, right? I had to consider. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, 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 welcome, Juan Carlos. Nice having you here tonight. Thank you. Let's see. Steven, good evening. Hi, mister. How you doing? I'm just fine, just fine. What about you? How's everything? Well, to be honest, great. Yeah, it has been a, a good day. I okay, can complain. Cool. You back at the hotel, resting a little bit? Yeah, actually right now. That's nice, that's nice. What time <laughs> did you get to the hotel tonight? Uh, about a fix, 10, 10, something like that. And what time does your day start? <laughs> it's depend, but, but it's about 6 a.m. So you got long days. Well, driving takes a lot of time, right? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty true. How long does it take you from the project to your hotel? Um, it depends where am I? Because actually, I'm a... Uh, in uh, Santa Cruz del Quiche, and mm -hmm. here it's, it's very close, but is there's another place like Santa Lucia, Cotzumalguapa, in Guatemala that I, I, I should have to try about okay, <laughs> 30 minutes, 20 minutes. It, it's the this the pen, yeah, okay, but you don't hit that much traffic, no, because I try to search. Oh, find some hotel that uh, stay closer, closer to the to the the place I work. Okay, well that's nice. Yep, that's nice. That's nice. So, well, the good thing is that you are here. You are ready there, resting, focus for a little bit. I imagine you always have something else to do after class, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's right. Part of the game, my friend, part of the game. Yeah, the process. Yeah, it's the measure of the activity we perform. Yeah. Welcome, yeah. Steven. Thank you. Let's see. Um, hmm. Heidi, hello. Good evening, teacher, how are you? I'm just fine, what about you? I'm doing great. That's nice. How was your day? It was a very productive day. That's cool. So it was good for business. It was good for business. That's nice. And that was better for you, right? For your agency, your team. Yeah, sure, for sure. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. So tell me, what time did you finish working today? Today at um, at seven. Ouch! A little mm -hmm. bit late. Yeah, that's that's the oh. average. Mm -hmm. What can we do, right? But what time <laughs> did you get in? At seven thirty. Seven thirty. So it's almost twelve hours there. Oh, fun. Usually, it's. it's it's 12 hours usually. 
Yeah. But you got a, a long lunch or a short one? I see. Today I had a, an hour. An hour? Mm-hmm. Okay, an hour for lunch. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's could be better, but it's better than others. You know, there are a few days that I not even remember that I have to go to lunch. I forget. Yeah. Yeah, when we get so busy. So busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's not good for health. Yeah, I know. But it happens. Yeah, but you got to take care of yourself. You got kids. Remember? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. And, you know, kids need mama, even if they are <laughs> old. Yeah, I know. But it, it doesn't happen all the time. Yeah, you got to be careful. I mean... Oh, and I mean, I'm sorry for saying this, but you know that uh, for us, when time starts passing by, oh, we get sick out of everything. Yeah, I know. And that's terrible. I hate being sick. This is me. Oh. It's not something that, that you use, uh, that you do consciously. I mean. Yeah. Mm. Willingly, willingly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah, it's not something you do willingly, but but I mean, it's just that some people take it like, okay, I'm sick, I'm sick. Like, anyway, what can we do? But in my case, it pisses me off. I hate being <laughs> home. Yeah, I hate being home and I hate feeling like a, a disabled to do some activities. Because hmm. hmm. uh, I like to be active and to be just resting from me is like a uh, person. You get used to, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I got my routine and uh, I don't like when something affects my routine. Hmm. Oh, Heidi, always nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, guys, I'm sorry for the rest of you. Welcome. Sorry that I cannot talk that long with everyone, but today we have a kind of heavy schedule. We got a lot to cover. And let's see. We are going to start right now. Let me just check on something. Let me just get something set and ready for us to work on. Okay. Hold on. Give me just a second. But I was. I'm sorry, guys, that I'm going to fix something. I have something here ready for you, but I messed it up right now. Sorry, 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 but it's not good when that happens. Okay, this is what I have to do.
Sorry, I was fixing something, but uh, sometimes I'm a mess. Let me share with you a presentation that I have here for you. Uh, it was, let's see, share, share, share. And here we go. Okay, guys. Okay, let's go back to conditionals. Now, do you remember that we already practiced a little bit about the first type of conditional, right? The type one. You remember that we have, well, we also saw the zero condition, but right now we are going to focus on the first, second, and third. Now, in the first condition, listen, we got here. Uh, this is called the future possible, right? We got the if clause, if plus simple present, and the main clause that is expressing future. If I study, I will pass in the test. If she calls me, I will go out with her. I will be here if you come to my house. In this case, if you remember, we have the if close or the conditional close. This is the condition. If I study, the result, if you see, future. I will pass in the test. If she calls me, I will go out with her. I will be here. If you come to my house, in the three situations, as you can see, oh, I'm sorry, there's a mistake here. This comma is not supposed to be here, my bad. So if you see guys, uh, the if clause in simple present, calls, study, come, and the result clause will pass, will go, will be, okay? Remember, this is very probable. Now, so, okay, the second type, if clause, simple past. We have the main clause, plus uh, in the main clause or the result clause, we got would plus infinity. This is kind of tricky. If you remember, we've been working a lot using this, the second type. If I study, I will pass in the test. If she called me, I will go out with her. I will be here if you came to my house again, my bad, I placed a comma that wasn't there, my bad. If I were she, I would not do this. Now, if you notice in the condition, in the conditional, close, you get the verb in simple past. Study, called, came, where, okay? Something interesting that if you remember, I was trying to explain to some of you the other day, uh, if you notice guys, we got us here where instead of was. Why? Because we are using the subjunctive mood. And that's something that we must be uh, kind of aware of. When we are talking about the subjunctive mood, we are talking about things that are not real. In this case, when we express uh, the simple past, we are using the base form for the simple past. Now, let me explain a little bit of this. So we are on the same page. we got the base form, okay? In most of the verb, the base form is like, uh, we got base form and, sorry. Mm -hmm. 
the base form for the simple past. Okay. Most of the verbs, like you got the verb uh, play, you got play, right? The verb, if the verb is irregular, you know that you got go in present, you got win, right? Uh, you got the verb have. In present, you know that in past you got have, but with the verb be, if you remember, we are talking here base form. The base form for the verb be is this one, be. Okay. Am, um, is, and are are not the base form. Those are the ways we conjugate the verb. So. The base form for B in the past is where. Was is the way we conjugate the verb. So this is the base form of the verb for the past. Remember that the base form, the verb in infinitive, in present, is B. So for B, where? That's something kind of weird, right? part of the language. Let's continue. Any question up to here? Uh, did you already erase no. the page? I just wanted to make sure. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. If you it. want a screenshot, I can send it to you. It would be good in order to remind the form because it's just the verb to be the one with that uh, strange thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. No, it's, it's clear for me, but I don't know if the other ones want to. Let me just see if I can make it smaller. Yeah, I'm trying to send it to you guys, the screenshot right now. Oh, thank you, everybody copy it's, it. goes there, okay. Thank you. There you go. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so this is the second type of condition. Now, when we use the second type of conditional, what we are expressing is these wishes, okay? If I study, I will pass in the test. If she called me, I will go out with her. So we are expressing wishes, okay? Any question? Okay, let's continue. So the third type of conditional. Okay, the third type of conditional. In order to get to the third type of conditional, I will make a short review. Hey, Fernando, welcome. Let's see. This is something you have not seen with me, but uh, we will make a review right here. See. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, something that we need to remember that we are going to work with, and I'm going to explain here just the structure, okay? Uh, we are going to be using present perfect, and we are also gonna be using 
fast perfect. Okay, the present perfect tense. Structure for the affirmative form. For the affirmative, the structure for the present perfect follows the following structure. We got the subject plus we got the auxiliary. In this case, the auxiliary is have or and. I'm sorry. Um, Okay, have or has. Simple, right? Plus, and this is the tricky part. The main verb in past participle. Plus the complement. This is the affirmative form. Now, for the past perfect tense, the structure is almost similar. What's the difference? Just the auxiliary. Instead of being have, error has, the auxiliary is have. Okay? So, in present perfect, I have, mm, I have taught English for 21 years. Simple, right? We got us the subject, we got us the auxiliary, the verb teach in past participle. Oops, I'm sorry. The verb you can see here and the complement. As simple as that. I have taught English for 20 years. Let's make it like this. It's going to be easier to understand. So, remember subject. Auxiliary, verb, complement. Now, in past perfect, as I told you, quite simple, we are just going to change the auxiliary, the same sentence. I have taught English for 21 years. You see, quite simple. And the structure, subject, auxiliary, main verb in past participle, complement. That's the affirmative form. Now, we got us the negative form. For the negative form, in this case, is again simple. We got a subject, we got us the auxiliary, that in this case, we know that the auxiliary can be have or has. We got us the verb. You know that the verb is in past participle plus the complement. So, what is missing here? Ah, the not. Where does it go? Right here. And remember, it can be contracted. You can say haven't or hasn't for the contraction. In this case, because we are talking about grammar, I will use the full form, the complete form. So I go like, I, sorry, 
I have not help English for twenty one years. And again, so the auxiliary, not verb in past participle, complement. Same sentence for the negative form. In this case, the structure is exactly the same as this one. So we are gonna go straight to the example because I don't want to get you bored with this, okay? In this case, the only thing that we are going to change is that we are going to include not. I have not taught English for 21 years. And if you see, the only thing, the structure is almost the same, right? The only thing that is changing is the auxiliary. That's the only addition that we do in this case. It's not, and the auxiliary is the only one who changes from the present perfect to the past perfect. The interrogative form, okay, is... For the interrogative form, the only thing we do is change the order of the auxiliary. That goes the auxiliary plus subject plus the verb as participle plus the complement plus the question. And remember that in this case, the auxiliary is have or has. So the same sentence will be in this case, have I taught English for 21 years? And for the past perfect, The question mark. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Had I taught English for 21 years? Question mark here. And we need to say question mark right here. So, guys, this is the structure. Questions about the structuring? Teacher, in the third conditional, if the second one is expressing wishes, uh, in the third one, what is uh, the idea? Say again. Yes, Please. if for example, in the in the first conditional, we are expressing like a. Uh, future oh yeah, yeah yeah the second yeah, one just yeah. say that we are expressing wishes yeah and the third if you, one if you were my friend uh -huh. usted mi amiga. Mm -hmm. okay now the third one this condition is called uh we had us future possible present unreal and this is past unreal Grammatically, the idea that you're expressing is something that if the condition has become true in the past, the result will have been true also in the past. Mm, okay. We will get there. We will get there. Through the examples, it's going to be pretty simple. So now, guys, can I can I get rid of this? Let me go back. Don't worry, I'm going to share with you right now that image I was just explaining.
just a second. Okay, pretty good. You got it. Now, let's go back to the presentation. Okay, so. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. That's just a little tidbit that I wanted to, to, to explain. Give me just a second. Okay, now, uh, let's see. Remember something, guys, when you use the present perfect, uh, if you remember, the present perfect expresses a situation well, we use it to talk about unfinished actions, okay? Or to talk about a habit that started in the past and continue to the present. That's the normal use of present perfect. Like I said, oh, I have taught English for, well, actually now for more than 21 years. That's something that started in the past and continue right now, okay? And I'm going to continue. Like if I ask uh, Ana Claudia, how long have you been in sales? Mm, I have been in, I, I have been in sales because I'm still in sales. Right? Yeah. Okay, I have been in sales for uh, 20 years. <laughs> okay, it's like a, a, a like if I ask uh, Eliana, how long have you worked for your company? Eliana. Yeah, teacher. How long have you worked for your company? Uh, almost three years. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's how we use the present perfect things. Now, when we talk about the past perfect, it's a little bit complex. Why? We usually use it to make it, to talk about uh, an action that happened before another action happened in the past. Like, you know, uh, when when Heidi invited me for dinner, I told her no because I had already eaten, so I wasn't hungry. You hear? I had already eaten. That's perfect. So I wasn't hungry. I wasn't hungry a moment in the past. I had eaten before that moment. That's how we use past perfect. That's the normal idea we express when using past perfect. Now, in this case, it changed a little bit. But why? Because we are talking about that condition. we we'll go back to the presentation. If I had a study, I will have passed in the test. I didn't pass the test. Why? Because I didn't study. You see? If she had called me, I would have gone out with her. But I didn't because she didn't call me. So we are talking about past. I would have been here if you had come to my house. But you didn't. So I wasn't. The probability in this case is zero. So let's remember. Type one of conditional, if plus simple present plus the future. Type two, if plus simple, pla simple past plus would and the verb in the infinitive. 
In this case, if plus past perfect participle and the result, okay, would plus present perfect. Okay. Please send that screenshot to the WhatsApp. What? Please send that one as a screenshot in the WhatsApp. Oh, don't Please worry, don't worry. I'll send you the whole presentation. Ah, okay, thank PDF. you. Okay, thank you. Okay, now let's see, Ana Claudia, you open your mic, so tell me the first sentence. Oh my God. We are using <laughs> type one of conditional. Ah, okay. If one eat an apple a day, one will keep the doctor away. Okay, in this case, Ana Claudia, it's perfect. Just remember that in this case, when you say if one, you are talking, uh, yes. Uh -huh, I forgot. And in that case is if one eats an apple a day, always when I start using e if in the first part of the sentence, then I got to add the comma, right? Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. So if once eat an apple a day, once, no, one no. will keep one will keep the doctor away. I'm sorry. Okay, if one eats eats an apple a day, one will keep will the doctor keep away. Away the doctor away. Uh -huh. Perfect. Thank you, Heidi. You got letter B. If John doesn't follow my advice, he will get in trouble. Okay. Perfect. Now let's see, um, Juan Carlos. You got letter C. Okay, let me check. Mm -hmm. If the code will find them guilty. Okay, in the if close, you use present, simple present. If the court finds. Okay. If the court, if the court finds them guilty, they will go to jail. Perfect. Thank you. Ramon, you got letter D. Okay, uh, Maria Alejandra. Mm, if he save in the morning, he will buy a beach house. Okay, perfect. If he if he saves enough money, he will buy a beach house. Now, second type of conditional. Okay, remember in second type of conditional you use. Simple past, and then you use will plus the infinity. So let's see, Roxana, letter A. If he studied, uh -huh. if, if he studied hard, he will pass the exam. He, he Perfect. Will... Perfect. If he studied hard, he will pass the exam. Simple, right? Mm. Letter B, let's see. Letter B, Stephen. Okay, let's see who else is around. Eliana, you got letter B? Letter B. If you practice every day, you will play violin very well. If you practice, it, practice it. every practice day. Practice is the correct, okay. Yeah, in practice this case, it. we are talking, we are using the second type. So if you yeah. practice it every Pass. day, you will play. Okay, I, I just uh, uh, getting confused with the, the pronunciation. Practice it, it's practice, practice it. it. Practice it, okay, thank you. No problem, no problem. And let's see. Uh, um, Mr. Rivas, you got letter C. Jose Rivas. Okay, so if she ate too much fast food, she will put 
on weight. Okay, if she ate too much fast food, she would put on weight. Perfect. Roxana, you got letter D. He bite. No. He will. He will buy a farm in Brazil if he earn earn lost of money. Perfect. Thank you. Now, guys, we go to the third type. Okay. Let's see. Uh, 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 for number one. Remember, in the first part, you use present perfect. In the result, you use, I'm sorry. In the first part, you use past perfect. In the, in the result close, you use will plus present perfect. So Heidi, help me out with the first one. If the weather would have been nice. Had been. Would have been nice. They, they would have played soccer. Okay. Let's do something, guys. Let me get you this. And oopsie, I need to get the attendance. But let me first. Okay, I share in the WhatsApp group. I just share. The image of the last one, we are going to work it in pairs, okay? And I'll give you like three minutes for you to work and analyze and solve. And then we come back here. But before we do that, let me get the attendance quite fast. Ada Susana Caceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medias. Mm. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Danny Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Elbanes. Present teacher. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay, guys, let me get them groups. No, it's going to be better to make them like this. Okay, groups are created. You just have three minutes to solve the sentences, please, and then I will pick who's going to tell me. So, Let's do it. Three minutes. Maria.
Okay, let's see. Let me go. Yes, they will have. Okay, so if the weather was nice, they will have. If the weather had been, I think. No. Yes, if the weather had been. Oh. Can yes. Is we are working with the third but, type of conditional. In the third type of conditional, the conditional clause goes in past perfect. Past perfect. And the result clause will plus present perfect. So if the weather has been nice, they will have played soccer. Yep. Got it, Roxanne? Okay. Actually, you know, for us, uh, it's easy, this type of ideas. We speak that way. Si el clima hubiese estado bien, ellos habrían jugado. Uh, teacher, but the thing is, uh, like, um, yes, we spoke in that way when, sorry, we speak uh, uh, and use the conditionals, but it's not so natural in the way when we are reading the sentence. I don't know if I'm explaining, I'm explaining well, <laughs> but it's like the sentence, it's like no natural <laughs> i don't know it's just that this is uh remember something right here you are using academic english mm -hmm. so the structure must be complete the function must be complete but uh if you want to hear something natural it's like uh, if roxana had been in the class on time she will have uh participated more mm -hmm. yeah that's you right see? and that there is where i get confused sometimes <laughs> because uh i am not uh, like get used to uh, use the correct uh, grammatical way to use the conditionals <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry, but remember, you're getting into the advance, so we need to push more for that. Yeah, yes. The question. Mm -hmm. uh, the teacher sent in the WhatsApp thing. Hello. Hello. Okay. The... Do you have the image, the one in the WhatsApp thing? Teacher, uh, yeah. but the, the example yes. you gave us, they didn't start with the if clause. <laughs> I'm sorry? The examples uh, you gave Which us. Which examples? No, uh, what I explained at first in, was the structure of the tenses. Aha. Uh -huh. Present uh -huh. perfect and past perfect. For the conditional, you use if plus past perfect. Uh, For the result, you use will plus present perfect. Write it. If close plus past perfect. Okay, past perfect. Okay. So in this case, we can say in the first one, for example, if the weather it was past perfect, you say right? No, past perfect. If the weather had been. But I can use also past if the weather had been nice. Yeah, can if I the use? weather had been nice. Uh -huh. They had played soccer. They will have played soccer. Oh, confused. They will. Wool, why wool? 
Listen, si el clima hubiese estado bueno, ellos habrían jugado. But we are using the third conditional here, right? Third conditional. Okay, the if, the first part is the if clause plus the past perfect, right? And the second part, it will be a will plus present perfect. Will plus present perfect. Okay. When do we know that we are talking in present perfect or past perfect? The auxiliary have or had. I know, but um, so the structure always is if clause plus past perfect. Yes, always, always, um, always. if clause past perfect. So the, the the structure you were drawing before in the blank space divided into present perfect and then past perfect. It was a review of the tense, of the structure of the tense. I'm sorry, I thought that it was the structure of the clause. That is why I didn't copy the structure of the clause. Oh no, the structure of the conditional sentence, I presented it in the PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I didn't write it. Okay, it's if clause plus past perfect, and the result is wool, Plus present perfect. Yep. Okay, got it. Thank you. I understand very much. Uh, it's, it's difficult to identify. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which one? Which one? Uh, no, we, we talk well, about the, the the pronunciation, or for example, learn in past. Learn. No. And in present. Learn. No. Learn. learn. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, 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 it's the same to you? No, it's not the same. No, it's not the same, oh. but how do you do you identify for the practice? Well, in the practice it's quite simple. You're gonna have the uh, an auxiliary before, and the auxiliary is telling you that the verb is in past participle. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, the auxiliary help. Yeah, because in this case, if John had learned more words, he would have uh, written a good report. You see, if John had learned more words, automatically you know that had learned. Okay. Um, yeah, in past. Yeah. Past part. Would have written. El habría escrito. He, he will have. Yes, he will have written. Written. No, right. Written. Written. No, okay. Written. Oh, yeah, in past participle. Yes. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, the auxiliary uh, uh, identified the, the tense of the verb. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I suppose that the intonation, right? Yep. Mm, easy. As simple as that, teacher. Yeah, as simple as that. <laughs> okay. We don't. Okay. Now, something that you must be aware of this is so this fact, my friends, and I will explain to you so you don't get confused. I guess I guess I, I understand why you get confused with learn. Because uh, I am sure you you were asking me about this pronunciation, right? I'm sorry. Uh, learn and learn. I guess you were asking me about this one, right? This, this yes. is the correct, yes. right? Learn. Yeah, and I was uh, giving you this one. Learn. 
with T. Yeah, learned. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I usually use learned. But in this case, for you, it's learned. 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 Uh, learned. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, they sound almost the same, but the difference is this. Look, learn, learn, present. Learn, learn, learn. You make a small, you keep a little bit with your tongue on your teeth, blowing out air. Learned, learned, okay? Okay. And in the second one, the one that ends, ends with T is learned. 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 Yeah, but in that case, because we are using, uh, it's British. Learn. Learned. Okay. In America? In American is learned. In British is learned. Learned. Yeah, I'm sorry, but uh, my bad. Right. So you got 60 seconds. Yes, Annie? No, we, we don't, teacher. Okay, perfect. Learned. Okay, everybody's here. Let's do it. Okay, we are here, right? Yes. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, here we go. Now, if the weather, the first one, look, if the weather has been nice, they will have played soccer. The second one, if we have gone to a good restaurant, we will have had a better dinner. If John how uh, um, oh, sorry. You can use learn or you can use learned. The only difference is that this is American, this is British. You will find both. Okay. I didn't know. I didn't know about that. Oh, it's a problem because uh, 
Usually I pronounce it like this, learned. The pronunciation is almost similar, learned and learned. In this, the T is more heavy, but this is British, learned. And learned is American. This is more used in America. Both are correct. Okay. This is used in, also, this is weird because in Canada, in Canadian uh, English, you use this one, the same American form. So if John had learned more words, he would have written a good report. Look. They will have arrived on time if the boys have taken the bus to school. Is uh, the comma and the comma is necessary there? No, that's a mistake. My ah, mistake. Okay. I'm okay. sorry. Okay. No, don't worry. I'm just asking. This is my mistake. My bad. Okay. Okay, there's no more problem. So you see, the sentence go like this. If the weather had been nice, they would have played soccer. If we had gone to a good restaurant, we would have had a better dinner. If John had learned more words, he would have written a good report. They would have arrived on time if the boys had taken the bus to school. I am sure you got it like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Now let's see. Something that uh, uh, something that I wanted to review. Remember, type three, the structure if plus past perfect. Okay. The result will have and the past participle of the verb, okay? So in the type three of condition, which is the one we were working on right here. But now we are going to do a different type of exercise. So let's see who's gonna start. Okay. Okay, thank you very much, Eliana. You're the volunteer for the first one. The first one is a uh, type one conditional. Okay. Your if, one, if one eats an apple a day, one will keep the doctor away. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the same exercise we have done. If one uh -huh. eats an apple a day, one will keep the doctor away. The second one, uh, Ana Claudia. Okay. If John doesn't follow my advice, he will get in trouble. Perfect. The third one, Mr. Rivas. Okay. If the court finds a then we'll guilty, they will go to jail. Okay, perfect. Next one, uh, I'm sorry, I hit it. If he saves enough money, he will buy a beach house. The second type of conditional, let's see. Mm -hmm. Maria Alejandra, the first one. It's type three. The weather I'm sorry. has been nice. Yeah. They will have play soccer. Excellent. The following one, uh, Marcos. Okay. If we have been to a good restaurant, uh, we will have had a good dinner, a better dinner. Excellent. Next one. Uh, Fernando. 
If John had learned more words, he will have written a good report. Perfect. And Roxana, the last one. They they will have a right a right on time yeah. if the boys have had taken the bus to school. Perfect. Look. If the weather had been nice, they would have played soccer. If we had gone to a good restaurant, we would have had a better dinner. If John had learned more words, he would have written a good report. They would have arrived on time if the boys had taken the bus to school. So in this case, second type, let's see, Irene, you got the first one. Hey, good evening. Good evening. If he, if he studies, studied, studied hard, he will pass the exam? Perfect. If he studied hard, he will pass the exam. Francisco, you're around. Right, teacher. Okay, you got next one. If you practice it every day, you will play. play. You will play, play violin very well. Thank you, mister. Uh, Ramon, you're around? Okay, Danny. Uh, the third one, right? Yep. If she ate too much fast food, she will put on weight. If she ate too much fast food, she will put on weight. Perfect. And the last one goes to Ada. Nope. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, Marcos, please, the last one. Okay, uh, if uh, he will buy a farm in Brazil if he earns lots of money. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see, guys. Uh, sorry. And that's it. You feel it a little bit heavy because we have seen the three types in the same night. But remember, this was just a short review of the other ones. Now let's go to the manual. Okay. How to use the third conditional? This is the most simple thing way to understand. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. You use the third condition, if plus past perfect comma, will have plus past participle to describe a situation in the past that didn't happen and to imagine its result, okay? If he had sent the files on time, the shipping order would not have been delayed. And remember what I was telling that my mistake, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened to me. I added the comma. If the chip and order will have will not have been delayed if he had sent the files on time. Remember, when you change the order, the comma disappears. When the sentence begins with the if segment, if closed, it is necessary to write a comma after it. If the sentence begins with the result segment, result close, it is not necessary to add a comma after it. You can, but it's not necessary. The third conditional expresses sorrow or regret about an event in the past. 
If the manager hadn't intervened, the employees would have created a bigger conflict. Okay, now another exercise for you guys. Exercise five, complete the third conditional sentences. Okay, you're going to get into groups. I'm going to send it to you and you're going to do the exercise. Just let me uh, send it to you guys. Just a second, please. There you go, I sent it already to the WhatsApp group. And groups are open, please jump in. You have five minutes to do that exercise. Hurry up, we got another one before we leave and there's the presentation.
Let me write. Just let me write. Mm -mm. Okay, if the agent, if the agent has listened, listened more at, at 10. What is the correct pronunciation, teacher? Attentively? Attentively? Attentively. 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 He. He. Will have. Understood. Understood. The customers. The customers. Request. Okay. Okay, now number four. If Fran had known you were at the office, he will have. Mm, he will tell you stay at home, stay and work late, late hours. He will have tell. He will have told, yes. He will have told. Told, right? T ah, yes, told. He will have told. If Frank, if Frank had known, had known, you were at the office, you were. He would have told, told you stay work and work. Okay, number five. If the company hadn't invested in a new building, we have had to share cubicles. Cubicles, cubicles. Cubicles. Okay, if the company. We will have. Hadn't, hadn't invested, invested in a new building, in a new building. Have had uh, to share cubicles to I sería teacher in la in esa we will have we will permit we will have had to share yeah. cubicles. Ah okay, okay, okay. Have had. Mm -hmm. Have had, okay. Uh, and the last one. If Miss Miss Jenkins, Mr. Jenkins, we yeah, have sixty seconds. Okay, guys, to do the time factor, let me share with you like this. Okay. 
The first one, if Tim had not attended the meeting, he will have missed the chance to get a promotion. If the agent had listened more attentively, he will have understood the customer's request. If Frank had known you were at the office, he will have told you to stay and work late hours. If the company had not invested in a new building, we will have to share cubicles. If Mrs. Jenkins had talked about Jeff bullying her, manager Park will have done something about it. That's the way you got it? Right, I got it. Perfect. Yes. Excellent. You're Excellent. right, teacher. You're right. Got it, teacher. So, great, great, great. Maria Alejandra. Teacher, may you repeat the, the sixth, the last sentence? The last yes. one. Mm -hmm. The last one was, if Mrs. Jenkins had talked about Jeff bullying her, manager Park would have done something about it. Oh, yes. Okay, got it. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Maria Alejandra, it's your turn. The floor is yours. Okay. Hi, uh, tonight I'll talk about of the popular beverage and dessert from Asia, Asia and in Japan. I start with the beverage. The name is boba or bubble tea. I will explain what is a boba. And boba is a drink to prepare with tea and depends the country made with different ingredients. For example, milk, fruit, uh, seeds, um, all the times are the tapioca. Uh, tapioca pearls made with a cassava flour and each shape is uh, based on little balls and the color depends on the syrup that is mixed. The tapiocas are rubbery and stress reveling and the flour is plain and the flavor is plain. Uh -huh. I know three restaurants where sell this beverage and have different presentation and you put different topping, for example, jelly, tapioca, seed, and syrup. The first uh, restaurant is Le Fon. And they sell bubble tea and Asia food have different size of a bubble tea and the price around three to six dollars. And you decide size of tea, topping and milk. And the second, the name is Osha Boba. Uh, this restaurant don't have a physical location, only have a collaboration with other restaurants, for example, Holande Errante, Luma Panaderia, and the most frequently is Caeu Ramen. This place is different compared with Leifon because have a different types and use different ingredients for do the bobas, for make a bobas, and have a dream with animate chapters and they have good presentation. The price around five to seven dollars. And the last is Caco. This restaurant is a different, uh, make different desserts. And if you don't like a sweetie dessert, uh, this restaurant is the solution. The restaurant is very New ones maybe have two years and sell a Japanese cotton chicken cake. It's popular because moves were freshly baked, uh, freshly baked and this fluffy. They have different flavors, for example, taro chocolate and the original. And they also sell mochis. It's a Japanese cake made with rice and is rubbery 
and filling filled, filled with different flavor. The mochi donut is similar with mochis, but have a different presentation. The other desserts they have, they sell are boring cheesecake and cheesy tarts. And say it's a boba with different style. The price start in $5 and you decide you want to spend all the restaurants, the location is in San Salvador. And only that. <laughs> okay. Quite interesting. Thank you very much for sharing with us. Let's see, okay. Irene, you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Good evening, everybody. I'm going to talk about innovation, science, and technology. Talking about technology, we can say that are the knowledge, skills through which human beings transform our environment to create machines, products, and services may be the solution for some problems or the satisfaction of their needs. Some examples about technology are robotics, artificial intelligence, or nanotechnology. Robotics, there is an, there is an engineering responsible for creating robots and robotic systems that are able to perform duties that humans are either unable or prefer not to complete, for example, to do the laundry, washing dishes, etc. Artificial intelligence is uh, the science or an engineering of making intelligence machines especially intelligent computer programs. In other words, artificial intelligence creates systems that think like humans and create systems that act like humans. And then in this program, save in the robots, and for this reason, the robots can act and think like a human. Talking about nanotechnology are the study and application of extremely small things and can be used across all the other science fields, such as biology, physics, material science, and engineering. For example, this kind of technology is using when, when uh, uh, we can see cloning animals. And in, we can say that human has changed the way of living. Talking about advantages of technology, you, we can uh, say uh, that we have a better communication because we can have a meet, meeting with the people who are in, uh, in the other side of the world for business, or families, etc. Other advantage is uh, online shopping. We can we can do e-commerce around the world with technology. In medicine, we have best machine to do surgeries. Research vaccine developed like COVID nineteen. We can save time on trips transport with technology, we can do homework and we can have a better life with the technology. We can have better better cars, better computers, better cell phones, and better TVs. Uh, we can see in this slide the most automated Automated countries in the world. We can see Korea del Sur, Japan, Germany and, and Suecia are the uh, countries Sweden. that are Sweden. Sweden. Sweden 
are the countries that are most automated in the world because they have more automated machines in their in their in their companies. And here we can see uh, the before and now about different devices, for example, TVs. A long time ago, we can see uh, a old TV and now we have a screen. And about cell phone, we can see different different models about this device. Nowadays we have the different and interesting and develop an application a cell phones. And this, these devices are so important for our life because we can have a better communication, we can develop better our life. It's so important the technology in our life. Thank you so much. Okay, well, thank you guys. Very well done. Okay, guys, I know that tonight was a heavy class because we were working mostly with the with the theory, the grammar. But uh, be sure that tomorrow is going to be a little bit more, perhaps more interactive because we are going to continue working with the third condition. Okay, so we are going to have more exercises, more examples, so you will be able to use it to apply it in context. And I am sure that it's going to help you to understand it better and apply it better. So, sorry, today was heavy, but that was the, the, the plan for today to explain the grammar. Uh, thank you guys for your participation. Let me just get the final attendance if you are so very kind. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irina Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Maña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Suleima Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Hey guys, thank you very much. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Hi, good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night, good night everybody. Bye. Bye. Irene, can you stay a second? Okay. Good night. Good night, Fernando. Take care. Okay, Irene, Irene. Let me see. Okay, Irene, I will share with you a material that I am sharing with some of your classmates. Okay, this okay. is a uh, grammar, grammar for you to practice. Okay. Okay. Can you see it? Uh, yes, I can see a, a link. A link. Copy, copy, paste it, open it please okay 
and save it because it's going to help you a lot. Okay. Okay. Let me know when you open it. Okay. I'm trying in this moment. Okay, it's open now. Okay, perfect. English grammar exercise and quizzes. Okay, now. Uh, what you open, got grammar explanations. I need you to go to how to use the verb tenses. Okay. Okay. But you don't stay on the basics you go you scroll a little bit down and you will get more verb explanations that's actually appropriate for this level okay okay and that's what we like uh following next week we are going to be working with gerunds okay okay so, uh, what i want you to go is to first to the conditionals that is the topic we are working on and I also would like you to get to the phrasal. Don't get into the gerunds because I will explain it here, but the phrasal verbs is something that is going to help you a lot. Now, in here, what you find are grammar explanations, but not just the structure. It also explains you how to use it. And that's something very important for you to know how to use the, the, the verb tenses, okay? So if you have time, I will advise you to to check it out, but don't put into it no more than 10 minutes a day, okay? Because okay. I know you work, uh, I don't know if you've got uh, responsibilities at home, uh, family stuff. I mean, we always have something to do, right? And just from five to 10 minutes a day, that's enough, okay? Because on okay. top of that, you're having the class. So, I mean, I don't want you to overdo it. If you dedicate to it more like one hour, X hour, you will be too tired. You're not going to take advantage of the resource. Something very important that I need you to take into consideration is that after each explanation, you will find an exercise. Do the exercises. Those exercises are related to the topic and the, the system will correct if you make any mistake. So, Check it out. Let me know if it if it's if it works for you. If you feel it's too easy or too hard or it's not interesting for you, let me know. I will give you more resources or different ones. Okay. Okay. Irene, a pleasure to have you here. Have a good night. Oh, Thank well, you, I don't you. know. Do you have any specific questions? Something that you would like me to help you with? Uh, in this moment, no. In this moment, no, but is if I have in the in the future, I'm going Please to tell you. Please don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. I'm here to help you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks to you. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Thank you so much. See you. Bye. See ya. Okay. A very productive class.
Well, time's over.